Hey guys, John to be Quinn here, the author of Someone Like Me. Time for a video blog. You know, I often get asked about what are the resources that I can tap into, some of the maybe some of the stories, some of the foundations that can help people with cerebral palsy. And that's that's a really good question. Um, so I've decided to write down 10 uh, organizations, stories, if you will, that can help people with cerebral palsy, things that Maybe it will give you a little inspiration, maybe a laugh or two, but, uh, you know, I, these are in no particular order. I wrote them down just off the top of my head. These are people that I might know, have worked with, have contacted with uh, since writing someone like me. And I just wanted to put them out there in a place where maybe if you're a parent, you see this video, you go, hey, I'll check this out. And I'll put links to all these uh, people in their stories down below on this video. So you can check them out. But uh, yeah, you know, these are just things that I've thought of and uh, wanted to share them with you. One of, the, one of the people that I've met is a guy by the name of Bonner Paddock. Uh, Bonner is an incredible guy. Uh, he has cerebral palsy and he climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, and has also done uh, Iron Man Kona in Hawaii. And it's the first guy with cerebral palsy to do Iron Man Kona. But on top of all that, you know, and even more impressive to me is Bonner heads up the OM Foundation, which stands for One Man Foundation, doing great work for people with cerebral palsy, not only in the United States, but, but all over the world. So uh, check out the, the OM Foundation. I know Bonner just got back from Africa recently where he and his medical team were providing medical support for children with cerebral palsy in Africa. So that's what the OM Foundation is working on right now. Um, a great guy to know, um, OM Foundation, Bonner Paddock. The other uh, thing that I've got written down are Handicap This, the guys from Handicap This. If you haven't checked out Handicap This, I'm telling you, you gotta check out this show. What it is, it's a two-man stage show Mike Berkson, Tim Wambach. Uh, Mike has cerebral palsy, and Tim is his uh, his aide, if you will, his companion. Uh, helps him out in his day-to-day -day, uh, dealings with cerebral palsy. And they've developed a two-man stage show. It's very powerful, very moving. Tells their story, and they travel the country. Uh, Handicap this. I've seen this show, and they were out here in Glendale a couple years ago. Uh, check them out. And uh, get them get them into your school, get them into your uh, town, because uh, these guys are breaking down barriers, uh, and they're doing it with laughter and, uh, and and a lot of compassion. And it's a powerful, moving story. Handicap this. Check them out. Um, Jerry Jewell. If you don't know who Jerry is, she's a good friend of mine. Jerry's a comedian, actress. She was on uh, the TV show Facts, Fact of Life. I think is what it was called. Um, geez, it's been, it's been so long since I've watched it. But uh, I remember seeing Jerry uh, do her stand-up routines. And uh, she's an accomplished actress. She was on HBO show recently, Deadwood, which I really like, by the way. Check out Deadwood. Um, but Jerry has written a book. Uh, I think it's called I'm Walking As Straight As I Can. And uh, check it out. It's a good read. And uh, Jerry Jewell. A pioneer within the, the disability community, uh, a trailblazer, if you will. How about my man uh, Zachary Fennell? Zachary Fennell, another author and a guy who writes a really good blog. Uh, Zachary wrote um, his teen memoir, Unbalanced, which is a very good read. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, Zachary Fennell, Unbalanced, really good read. Steve Wampler. If you don't know who Steve Wampler is, another great guy doing incredible things. Steve has cerebral palsy and uh, has, a, has a foundation uh, that uh, he uses to run a camp up in Northern California for kids with uh, disabilities. Uh, Steve has an incredible story. He climbed El Capitan in Yosemite uh, and they did a documentary film on, on his effort called Wampler's Ascent. It's a very powerful movie. Steve Wampler, uh, 
had the opportunity to meet Steve. Great guy. Uh, again, Wampler's Ascent. Check out that movie. Check out that documentary. And uh, check out his foundation. Doing great things for uh, people with disabilities. With TV. With TV. If you haven't heard about With TV yet, you're going to. You know, one of the issues that I've always wanted to push forward, you know, questions that I've always had is how come there's not a disability channel on, on television, you know, dealing with worldwide disability issues in the world today. Um, with TV is trying to make that happen. Uh, things are just getting off the, off the ground with, with TV, but uh, check them out and uh, like them, like them on Facebook. I'm, I'm fully behind everything that uh, they're doing, and uh, they're trying to get, you know, stories out there about people with disabilities and educate the world about disability issues. Gosh knows we need, the world needs a lot of uh, education when it comes to uh, disabilities and uh, everything that people with disabilities deal with, not just with cerebral palsy, but with disability issues across the spectrum around the world doing great things. Um, check out Reaching for the Stars. The Reaching for the Stars Foundation is doing great things down there in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, they uh, have recently gone to DC trying to get money for uh, in the federal budget for CP research. And they're, at, they're, the, they're on the leading edge of um, pushing uh, Congress to fund CP research and doing a lot of other great things for people with cerebral palsy, whether it's dealing in stem cell research, trying to fund stem cell research in the area of cerebral palsy uh, research. But uh, check out Reaching for the Stars and uh, again, a, a great organization that, uh, are, you know, they're doing great work uh, trying, to, trying to bring everybody together in the cerebral palsy community and, and trying to find what works around the world with cerebral palsy. And uh, I know that they were recently in the conference in San Diego um, that was dealing with uh, cerebral palsy issues. So Reaching for the Stars, a great, great organization and uh, you know, um, doing great work for, for people with CP. Uh, Dr. Karen Pape. Dr. Karen Pape is somebody that I'm following very closely she is one of the few doctors that I've, I haven't met Dr. Pape yet, but I follow her work. She believes in the model of uh, uh, pushing people with cerebral palsy uh, physically through repetition, movement, you know, trying to retrain the brain um, in the area of what's possible for people with cerebral palsy. She's on the, on the leading edge of, of this. Um, Check her out. I'll put her website down below. And, and check out her TED Talk, too. She did a TEDx talk a while back, but it's, it's, it's up on her website. It's a very powerful uh, TEDx talk. Dr. Karen Pape um, doing, doing some great things. And uh, who else? Check out this blog. My friend Sarah does this blog, writes this blog about her life with cerebral palsy. It's called Stand Tall Through Everything. Sarah's a good writer, a very good writer, and I really uh, uh, relate to, to the things that she writes about living life with cerebral palsy. It's called Stand Tall Through Everything. Go ahead and Google it. I'll put a link down below here on this, uh, on this video so you can check it out. And Sarah, you know, she, she writes uh, from the heart. She writes uh, straightforward, and I really enjoy reading her stuff. Check her out. Follow her on Twitter. And uh, I'll put, again, I'll put links down below. And of course, you got to read someone like me. What, you haven't read my book yet? You got to read it. Um, someone like me, I was born with cerebral palsy. Uh, kept it secret to join the United States Navy. And in fact, maintained that secret for over 21 years while serving my country. I would have loved to have told the truth, but I think the Navy would have laughed me out of the office. Uh, it's not a military book. And it's not just for people with disabilities. It's for anybody who wants to read, read a really good book about somebody who had to work very hard um, to achieve the things that 
in life that he wanted to do for himself. So that's what I've got for you this week. Hopefully you guys are doing well. It's raining here in Tucson, um, but uh, life is good. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Stay well, be well, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.